The king of mid-size pickup trucks just got better. Toyota just decided to redesign their breadwinner pickup truck and the freshly reworked Toyota Tacoma will now amplify all the characteristics that made it the absolute best mid-size SUV America has ever seen. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at what new goodies the new model has and what edge it has over its competitors. So don't rush when purchasing the 2024 model year until we explore the five reasons why you should wait for the 2025 Toyota Tacoma. Number five. A new power plant is said to appear. The Toyota Tacoma is without a doubt the best pickup truck in the mid-size pickup truck segment. However, even it isn't without faults. And the biggest issue of the Tacoma is the complete lack of choice when it comes down to engine choices. You have nothing apart from the 2.4 liter turbo 4 engine. And while it has a very varied power output ranging from 230 to 280 horsepower, it still isn't anywhere near the power output of the Ford Ranger or the Chevy Colorado. Thankfully, Toyota decided to tackle this issue by increasing the power output of the engine for the higher up models. As a result, the most powerful version of the Tacoma will now push out somewhere between 300 and 310 horsepower, making the power plant very much on par with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 found in the Ranger and the 2.7 Turbo 4 from the Chevy Colorado. And while torque figures still won't be as good as the Ford Ranger, the truck's MPG figures will more than make up for this, as the truck will, even with the increase of power, still retain its 26 miles per gallon figure at the highest, which completely dominates the other vehicles in its segment. Number 4 a performance-oriented version of the Tacoma. We weren't exactly honest when we said that the new 2.4 power plant would be the most powerful non-electrified powertrain. No, no, no. That place will most definitely go to the performance-oriented version of the Tacoma, which will use an engine that is completely foreign to the Tacoma lineup. This engine is the venerable 3.4-liter V6 from the Toyota Tundra, which will push out some 360 horsepower. This power plant will allow the Tacoma to rival the Ford Ranger Raptor, which is the king of the segment in terms of performance. Now, sure, you might be asking how in the world can this engine compete with a 3.0 EcoBoost which has some 40 horsepower more? Well, it can't because this truck's biggest trump is the fact that it won't be an off-roader. No, this truck will be the first ever GR truck in Toyota's history, and as a result, the GR Toyota Tacoma will have stiffer, sportier suspension that will be combined with low-profile tires, as well as a tweaked gearbox that will allow the truck to remain quite powerful and responsive no matter the rev range. As a result, albeit it won't beat the Ford Ranger Raptor in a straight line, it'll be a much better choice for those of us who want an engaging vehicle with a truck bed at the back of it. However, for those of you who are more sensible and value both fuel economy and performance equally, the next entry on our list might just be for you. Number 3. The Plug-in Hybrid is here. The Toyota Tacoma Hybrid has already been one of the most important trucks in this segment because it remains the only mid-size hybrid pickup truck available in the US at the moment. However, Toyota just made it even more appealing as the all-new plug-in hybrid version will now be available to Toyota's buyers. This incredible new pickup truck will have upwards of 360 horsepower, making it neck-to-neck -neck in terms of performance with the upcoming GR model. Now, sure, it won't be as fast as the GR because it will be considerably heavier. However, you can bet that this truck will have enormous levels of torque. At the current, the hybrid is capped at only 6,000 pounds. However, the upcoming version will have a much larger towing capacity due to the limit being removed altogether. As a result, you could expect this 500 plus pound feet of torque to allow it to easily pull over 7,000 pounds, which is fantastic. At that, while also retaining phenomenal MPG figures of around 27 MPG in the city and 23 on the highway. That is already considerably better than the regular hybrid, which can push out 24 MPG at the max, making the plug-in version easily the most versatile and sensible pickup truck of the bunch. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, the all-electric autonomy of the pickup truck will also be a very solid proposition for those of the more sensible kind, as the Tacoma will now have up to 30 miles of all-electric range. This makes it more than ideal for your daily commutes around town, especially since the truck can now be recharged at your home or any other electric recharging station. Number 2. Multiple Body Configurations Here's yet another segment in which the Toyota Tacoma dominates its peers. Honestly, we never understood why car manufacturers decided to abandon regular and extended cab versions of their mid-size pickup trucks. Honestly, getting all the practicality for a full-size pickup truck in a mid-size package seems like a no-brainer for tradesmen and craftsmen. However, manufacturers beg to differ. Not Toyota, though. 
You see, the all-new Toyota Tacoma was offered an extra cab with a six-foot bed for the Tacoma SR, SR5, and pre-runner, granting buyers an affordable and practical entry into the Tacoma family. Well, for the 2025 model year, we'll be getting an expanded number of trim levels that'll offer the extra cab. That said, the most interesting about this is the fact that the SR5 will most likely be getting a standard hybrid variation. As a result, you'll be getting an ideal alternative to the Ford Maverick if you need an economical yet capable and practical pickup truck. Sure, this version will set you back quite a bit money, more than the Maverick, but then again, you'll be getting quite a bit of a pickup truck more compared to the compact pickup truck. And besides, for those of us who depend on tool trucks, paying a small premium for a vehicle that can reliably and economically last your lifetime is worth it. Speaking of things being worth it, number one, the best bang for your buck. There's simply no avoiding the fact that the Toyota Tacoma stands unrivaled when talking about sheer value for money. Honestly, none of its competitors can even come close to the level of, well, everything that the Tacoma brings to the table. And since all of this will be amplified now, the pickup truck will only further the gap it already established. You see, the Tacoma starts from $32,500, which in itself is already noticeably less than most of its competition, save for the Nissan Frontier and the Chevy Colorado. However, both of these trucks are eons behind the Tacoma in terms of both equipment and mechanical advancement. The Colorado still has leaf springs at the vast majority of its trim levels for God's sakes, which is unacceptable in 2024. Not to mention the horrendous interior quality and the absolute lack of any equipment for the lower end models. Furthermore, the upper echelons of the Tacoma lineup also keep dominating the segment as the TRD Pro remains one of the best and most popular off-roader pickup trucks. And frankly, why shouldn't it? For $65,000, $1,000, which is at the cost of a fully equipped hybrid TRD Pro, you'll be getting an economical, practical pickup truck that is an absolute monster compared to its peers. Just as reference, the fully equipped Colorado ZR2 Bison, which by the way is in a hybrid, costs $61,000 which is hardly worth it when compared to the TRD Pro. Not to mention that the equally priced Tacoma Trail Hunter runs circles around it in almost every way possible. And if $65,000 is too much for you, then you'd be delighted to know that for around $40,000, you'll be getting into what we believe is the best Toyota Tacoma, which is the Tacoma TRD Sport. For the money, you'll get a well-equipped pickup truck with a solid off-road capability that at the same time doesn't hamper its on-road performance. Oh, and we haven't even mentioned the plug-in hybrid. Nothing is official yet, however, we believe that the choice will be relatively limited as there will only be one trim level here and it will be equivalent to the Tacoma Limited in terms of equipment and function. It is expected to cost somewhere in the high $50,000 or low $60,000 range, making it more or less equal to the Ranger Raptor. This is also true for the Tacoma GR Sport, which is also expected to be neck and neck with the Ranger Raptor and we honestly wouldn't expect it to be more than $60,000. Overall, the Tacoma retains its position as the best pickup truck available as it truly defeats its rivals both by volume as well as sheer quality and practicality. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.